Hey, how's it going everyone? So what am I working on now? Well, I got a 2019 Ford Edge and the customer's complaint is they have a shutter while driving. One thing I noticed on this car is it has a CarMax emblem on the back or sticker or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it is, but every single car, every single car that we've gotten in the shop that says CarMax on the back has been a wreck that was rebuilt. Every single one of them. I don't know why that is, but every single car that we get in that says CarMax has had damage to it somewhere and repainted, sprayed, bodywork, you name it. And usually it makes it look good until you look at it, if you know what I mean. Anyway, going off on a tangent there. There's a reason for that. All right, let me show you. I hooked my scanner up to it. And I ran a scan on it. It's got no lights on. But I was thinking shutter. Okay, could it be transmission? Sure. Could it be a misfire? Sure. Could it be ABS? Sure. There's a whole bunch of shores out there. So let me just show you what I came up with. So in ABS, we have battery voltage, battery voltage, then steering wheel position sensor, and missing communication with BCM. Probably a, probably a history code. Then the instrument panel cluster, missing communication with BCM, body control module. And that's the interesting one, PCM. Missing communication with active grill shutter. Mm. Mm. Got a funny feeling this car was in an accident too. But let me take this thing for a ride. I wanna see what it actually does. I don't know what it does. I don't know what's wrong with it. So let's take this for a ride, see if I can't duplicate the problem. I'll probably stop off in Mexico this way. Um, you know, in an area where I can actually film. Well, let me go up the road and let's see what happens. Can you see the RPM? See it? It's probably a lockup. Okay, so I was feeling it pretty bad there on the road. I mean, here I have a potential misfire counter of one on cylinder one. I'm going to ignore that. That's nothing. So I'm going to brake rev it just a little bit. Because it's possible the torque converter kicking in and out like that could be misfire. It's not a misfire. It's This thing's not misfiring. It runs fine. So I'm thinking it's not engine related. Now that code active grill shutter, what that is, there's physical shutters in front of the radiator and they close to help the engine heat up quicker. Um, I'm not sure if they help with aerodynamics too. They might, I don't know. But they cut, they're there to basically try to maintain the temperature of the motor better. So if it's cold outside and there's no reason to have airflow through the radiator at all, they're gonna stay closed. So to have that code tells me this thing was probably hit in the front at some point. I can't guarantee it, I don't know yet. Could be a problem with just a shutter. That's a possibility also. All right, let's go back to transmission on this. Uh, let's see. So I'm not worried about anything in the PCM. I'm just going to bring this to TCM. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe it's all in the PCM on this? Might be all in the PCM. I don't know. Hold on a second. Because I want to watch the um, slip speed. Yeah, it might be, well, in PCM. Hmm. Let me find what I need to find, and then we'll come back to this. Okay, so everything's in the PCM. So right now you can see the actual torque converter slipping speed, which that's that's okay. That's where it's supposed to be right now because it's idling and you're in gear. Um, the desired slip is 1023, but it's basically at whatever engine RPM is right now. So let's go up the road. And now I can feel this thing bucking right now. It's doing it right now. And you can see those numbers going all over the board there. See them how they how they shoot up to like 145 and everything else. And during that time, that's when I feel the bucking sensation in the vehicle, the shutter. So we're gonna go back to the shop. I gotta cross back. 
head across over the border and get back to the United States here. Um, but we are going to check the fluid level on this. I don't recall. I think that this one, you have to check it on a lift. Um, I think, I, I don't recall, but I think this thing might have the check, like it's got a check hole that you got to take a plug out of. And um, at that point, you have to have the fluid running out. So I'm going to do an inspection of the fluid. This thing only has 73,000 miles on it. It's pretty violent right now. I'm actually coming up to a hill here, so maybe I could do it better on the hill because it seems to be obviously more um, aggravated under a load. So hold on, I'm coming up. I'm going to turn here. I can't stand these lane assist vehicles, like where they read the lines on the side of the road. That aggravates me. But here I'm coming up on a hill now. So watch the slip speed there, the top line. And it's actually not really doing... Oh, there it goes. It just did it. Yeah, it just did it again. Okay. So it's... It's corresponding... It's corresponding to the slippage in the converter. Usually that kind of slippage is in the converter itself. Um, it's pretty violent at low speeds. Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can pull over here. Oh, actually, let me turn around because then I have a nice little grade going up. It's very flat in the area, Matt, so sometimes finding a good grade is difficult. Somebody threw all their garbage out on the side of the road. That's awesome. I love when people do that. I'm being very sarcastic. Right, turn around here. I got traffic coming up. Make sure that's all clear. Just gotta wait for it to clear. Here, you can watch the scanner. This thing has stop start, so. There. That's why you had no. Yeah, that's why you had zero RPM. Here it's doing it like crazy. You can see the camera vibrating. The car is. You see how I can't really hold steady even on the. on filming there? And now it's going. Okay. So yeah, I am convinced it's in the transmission itself. Um, but this thing has a service contract. But we're going to have to get it on the lift anyway because. Service contract usually wants us to verify the fluid level and condition and report it back to them. So, all right, let's get back to the shop. So we're up in the air right now, and just real quick, I just want to show you. Now, on the one side here, you can see the clips and stuff that hold the inner fender liner in. Then if you come to this side, you have all screws. Something missing here. There's hardware missing. The lower shields are missing. So somebody's been in here. Somebody's done something. So like I said, every single CarMax car I've come across so far has had something that went on with it at some point in its life. Just, it's just how it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain some of the fluid out of this transmission. Here's the drain. Problem is it is hot. Like I can't even touch it, it's so hot. So I don't wanna drain everything but let me see if I can't collect some of that. All right, so. Got myself a trusty little clear cup here. And like I said, this stuff is hot, so you gotta be careful so you don't burn yourself. And I gotta make sure I can put this plug back in. Yeah, it's hot. Woo! That's hot fluid. And she don't look too healthy, I'll tell you that. Doesn't smell burnt, which is weird. Hold on a second. 
other evidence of body work. I'm not sure if you can see it, but if you look close, this door and that quarter panel have been painted and mudded up and everything else. When I mean when I say mudded up, I mean you use body filler, which uh, body filler is fine. It's just how you do it. I'm not a body guy. I worked at a body shop. All right, let me show you this fluid. That's transmission fluid. It's not engine oil. So it does not look great. It doesn't smell burnt though, which is the weird part. But yeah, it's not, it's not good. So we are going to call a warranty company, or their warranty company rather, and see what they want us to do. And we're going to have to go from there. So that big old fly, the one that's right there on me. Shoo. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, that's it. <laughs> Okay, I never had that happen. But we got a kick out of that. Anyway, all right guys, hope you got something out of that. If you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, have a great day. Keep wrenching.